I've added some Neville Collection items to my display over the past year. Ones that I've yet to showcase, so let me show you what I got. Most of the Noble Collection items are still available to purchase, however one of the items is a discontinued product and I'll show you which one that is in just a moment. The most recent addition has been the Hagrid Umbrella and I did showcase this in a different video which I'll link here if you want to see that and how it compares to the actual prop that I saw at the Harry Potter Studios so I'll leave that here to link if you want to see that. but. This is a wonderful new addition to my collection and my one collection. It is, I believe, made of real wood. So it's actually a real wooden wand that Noble Collection does. The other ones that Noble Collection do are made of resin. So that's already amazing that it's wood. It does have real metal features and it is a working umbrella. So it has the little button that keeps the, the clasp together and opening up I'll show you as much as I can on camera without it knocking over things. As you can see it opens up. Plain pink umbrella, it does capture it does it does clasp at the end and, and stays open. Whether I would use it in real life, I think probably not. I wouldn't want to damage such an expensive item. But yeah, so cool. And I actually see the Hagrid <laughs> when you when I rewatch the Philosopher's Stone or the Sorcerer's Stone for any Americans watching, <laughs> when he holds it. He actually does hold it at the base when he was tapping the bricks. So I thought it was quite funny. I thought he'd hold it here. Um, misremembered that. But yeah, funny addition. That, but lovely product and item that is added to my collection. So that is the first one. And on to the next. Staying on the hybrid theme, another item that I wanted for quite some time <laughs> has been the Hagrid lamp. <laughs> I think quite a lovely little addition. Um, I'm sure not as large as the actual prop, but still a very accurate replica, I would say. I mean, I don't know how if you're able to find antique lamps like this. I'm sure if you did a lot of searching, you could, and that would be amazing. But whether that would actually fit on my shelf is another story. So it doesn't open, although it looks like it opens, it, it doesn't open. and. You can't put a real candle in, it's actually a battery operated candle, which the operations at the bottom there. So it does fit nicely on the shelf and you can just turn it on and you can adjust that. I'm not sure if it'll show you, it does like kind of flicker. And you just turn it off and then when you turn it back on, you can adjust how bright it is. So you can have the options of making it brighter. Couldn't remember how bright it goes. But when it's dark, it's pretty cool. But yeah, it does like kind of flicker. And I believe that if you get the Harry Potter remote control wand, it has a different feature that you can use to like swish and flick and turn it on and off. Like with magic, but it's a remote control. And it has a different feature on there that flickers, I guess, more like flame. I'm not sure if I, I did play around with a one that I borrowed from my friend because I didn't actually have that wand to try it out and it did work and it was pretty cool and all the features that you can do on that so you also may have seen from a previous video that I did where I showcase a few items that I purchased from the Woodsling world and one of them was an Umbridge kitty well it was a brooch I said it was a pin badge but it was actually a brooch and I started collecting a few other Umbridge items and one of them from Noble Collection is the quill that she uses, the horrible, horrible quill <laughs> that doesn't need any ink. And spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen The Order of the Phoenix, etc. So just wait for you to stop watching. <laughs> As we know, this is the quill that you don't any ink with, it just detaches from, it just kind of sits on the display which you can have so you don't even have to have that but it's a lovely little display for the quill. I don't think you can actually use this quill with real ink. You might be able to. Yeah I think you can actually. It does look like it's been created too. Maybe I'll try that one day. Maybe in red ink because as we know you don't need ink for this one you use. You just write and it actually cuts into your hand and uses your blood to write with which is so dark and 
so evil, but so cool at the same time. I mean, I, I don't know if this was a quill of Umbridge's own creation, which is just dreadful, or did she go down, you know, Nocturne Alley and possibly visit the evil stationery is us? I don't know. <laughs> um, and purchase this to use at school, which I didn't know how any of the other teachers allowed this. So the final item is the discontinued item, which when we found out it was being discontinued or already was discontinued, we didn't want this to be another Hermione's bag situation because Noble Collection, they stock items, then all of a sudden they stop and then it's difficult to get hold of. My friend Kat found a stockist online for this item and we bought it quickly and we managed to get it. So fortunately, this was easy obtainable by us. Not sure how easy it is now. It comes in this lovely wooden box, display box. And it is, hopefully it doesn't fall out, <laughs> is Dumbledore's knife. As he uses in the Half-Blood Prince to enter, again, I don't know if you, if you were watching this, <laughs> you don't want any spoilers. I'm sorry, please stop watching now. What he uses to enter the Horcrux cave. I'll show you what clothes to begin with. So, it's fashioned to look like an ivory handle. I do believe this is real metal and the metal clasp at the top, which spins around to then allow opening of the knife and closing, which then keeps it closed. I don't know actually how sharp the knife is. I probably think it's pretty sharp and this would be an adult only item. I guess because it's more of an adult item that's probably why the Noble Collection decided to stop this. Potentially, I mean, I don't see any fault of this that could be down to manufacturing because it's very, I would say very well made, but do be careful if you do manage to get this, do be careful when handling because it is a knife and knives are not for playing. This, again, is a display item only. So that's it for this Noble Collection haul. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing those items. Which out of that collection was your favorite? Will you be getting any? Do you have any questions about them? Leave them in the comment section below and I will answer as many as I can. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do me a favor and click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that each and every week when there's a new video, you'll be notified. Be sure to give this video a like and with that, remember, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.